popular beliefs about the Bible. And they're misconceptions, all of them, right? And what we're going to find out today, if the, if, if the Lord wills, that this book is your book. This is the black man's book. That's right. And only his book. Right. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 20, 28, verse 15. Let's start there. And remember, the thought is he scattered us for reproach, meaning he was angry with us for not following. You said prophecy, but we'll just say his laws, this, this, his rules. Let's say that. We agree? Right. So he scattered us for reproach and for a curse. For reproach and for a curse. So now let's find out about this curse. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. Like you said, because we didn't do the prophecy. Oh, read, you hear what he just said? Yeah, read it again. If we don't observe to do what? To do all his commandments all his what all his commandments and his statutes uh -huh. which i command thee this day that all these curses wait a minute we heard that word before as to why we are yet this day in our captivity right we heard that word and it says what well, god has scattered us for reproach and for a curse he's angry therefore he cursed us for not following his rules exactly right watch this that all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It says all these curses. Now, in the book of Deuteronomy 28 in the Holy Bible, it tells us about the, both the blessings if we do what he told us to do, and if we don't, the curses. The, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, it tells us both. You do it, you get good. Like your mom and your father told you, listen, I'm going to get you without you. I want the new video game. Get good grades. Deal, you get the good grades, what happened? You get, the, you get what you want. But if you don't get good grace, what you get? You get punishment. You get the curse. Right? Come on. Watch this. Verse 16. Because who are we talking about? Who are some examples that I gave as the things that our people suffer? I named a few names. Who did I name? George Floyd. I think I said Trayvon. I think I said... Brianna Taylor, right? I said some of those names, right? And those, the, the, the deaths that they suffer are emphatically exclusive to our people. Nobody else dies like that. Those mistakes, right? Those mistakes don't happen in death to any other race of people but our people, right? Watch this. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. It says cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Well, you got everybody in the city. You got every race of people in the city. But who's cursed in it? We cursed in the city. It's us. You have homeless of all races in the city. They can't, right? You have home, you have all different races of poverty in the in the in the in the city. But who dies? Who 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 are the George Floyds in the city? Are they, is that every race? No, that's not every race. And then it's televised. The man's death, so so inhumane. It's 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 televised. It's televised, and it's picked apart by all these other nations. Ah, he deserved it. He did see that. He, think about that. That is so inhumane. It's like the death of a roach. Ah, he deserved it. What you die? Get out of here. That's net. You're nasty. Get out of your, your uh, squishy. That's the death of a, of, of a, that's inhumane. So you can say that everybody's in the city and everybody, they're poor and certain people like they get in car, every race get in car accidents, things like that. But who's worse off in the city? Who's dead? Who's the most uh, 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 bloody? Or let me say, who's the, whose blood is shed the most in the city? Whose life is it costed the most in the city? That's our people. That's us. Emphatically, without a doubt by those who we sometimes who are supposed to protect us right cursed in the city come on and cursed shalt thou be in the field and cursed shalt thou be in the field what you're gonna realize about this bible the more you read it the more exact it get because sometimes we can say well yeah that kind of fit us so as we read on you're gonna understand this ain't talking about nobody but you sister nobody watch this so it says cursed shalt thou be in the field cursed in the city cursed in the field when were we cursed in the field? When I say the word to you, cotton field, what do you think? Yeah, how, what do you, what's the first thought that come to mind? Cotton field. 
slavery. Curse shalt thou be in the field. You have no other identity with cotton or cotton field or the cotton seed or the cotton plant or the cotton jig, anything involving cotton. But slavery, that's the only thing our minds can do with just those words. You see that? That's in fact, that's, oh, that's isolate, that's isolate, that, that, that mental plague is exclusive to only our people. Right. It means industry, it means money, it means wealth to everybody else. You know what I mean? That's what it means to everybody else. Cursed shall thou be in the field. Come on, now jump down to verse 32. Watch this. Now I say jump down, because it's a long chapter, 68 verses in this chapter. I know at some point, well, I ain't even going to say it. Listen, I encourage you to read the entire chapter, but we're going to jump through it. And I want, I want this to identify with you before the day is over. All right, come on. Read verse 32. No, read verse 30 first. Watch this, sister. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth the wife. Thou shalt betroth the wife, meaning you become promised. A man will become promised to a woman. A woman promised to a man. Like nowadays we call it engagement, right? So you shall betroth the wife. Come on. And another man shall lie with her. What does that mean? Huh? Right. When did when did a people, as far as you know, suffer that as a pandemic? That meaning it it had it's just the rule. It's just the way it goes. Huh? You, I like how old are you? So you still very, very young, right? I'm twice your age, right? So back in, in my day, it wasn't as commonplace as for you, the 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 all the the, the lewdness in man dealing with one all that uh the sexual immorality. It wasn't as prevalent back back in my day. It was prep yeah, it was a lot, but nowadays it's crazy, it's rampant, right? But what I want to say is this. What I want to say is this. You got to really think, sister, further back than you, right? Especially because we, what the Bible is speaking to is origins. How did things start, the beginning? So when you think back, why? When we ask that question, I, I, we, we get shot down in the street and we, why, Lord, why? The Lord want to tell us why. And it didn't start that day. Nothing that we suffer started that day, sister. It all started way, 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 way back. Right? With our forefathers, foremothers, ancient time, times of antiquity. Ancient time. You, you know what I mean? So it says, ye shall be told the wife, and another man shall lie with her. That was commonplace. What was it? I ask you this. What? Somebody Google winch for me. Bed winch. You know what a bed winch is, sister? You know what a bed winch is? Huh? No. No. We're gonna Google it, but I'm gonna tell you. Before he Googles it, what a bed wench was, was just a slave that was a woman. So if any time the master would want you, right? The, it don't matter if you're married. doesn't matter if, you know what I mean? You saw a uh, birth of a nation, right? Remember what happened to the brother's wife? And it was nothing he could do about it. They had to hold him, they had to hold their brother because they know if he's going to go and get himself killed if he tries to go and take his wife from the master. And he was having a party and all the men there wanted to hit that man's wife. So, you understand? Read that again. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth the wife, uh -huh. and another man shall lie with her. This is slavery. This don't happen. This is not done just a free will. This is not talking about that woman chooses, or necessarily talking about that woman just chooses. I'm going to be, you know, um, um, immoral, and I'm going to deal with a bunch of different men, even though I'm married. That's not what that's talking about. That's not what that's talking about. That's far broader or far more particular than that, right? You shall betroth the wife, and another man shall lie with her, right? Watch this. Thou shalt build an house, uh -huh. and thou shalt not dwell therein. It says you shall build a house, but it's not for you to live in. You shall not dwell in. Dwell means live. You shall not dwell in it. What does that sound like? If you build a house, but you don't get to live in it, what is that? Huh? Who, who built the who built the who built the um the White House? Yes, slaves did. Slaves built the White House. They built the plantation house. We built everything, but we don't live in it. Still to this day, like you said, we rent. That stuff that they own, they family still own that stuff 
to this day, it's owned. No rent, no, you know, they doing bad. Now, all that wealth that they had that we built, they still own it to this day. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.